Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to learn how to update our models using Laravel. So let's get started. On the previous page, we created our view model page. So now I want to add a new button, edit, where we get to edit our model using a text box. So first of all, let's go and add this new button here on our view idea page. So I'll go ahead and I open up the idea card. So here we have a delete button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add also add a new button. And uh, instead of view, I'll call it edit. Now, for the route, we still don't have the route, but I'll put it here. It's going to give us an error. So let's go and define the route as well. And I'll open our route file. I'll copy this. And for our edit route, I'll use the same, basically same thing as our show route. But at the end, I'm going to add slash edit. I'll rename the method name to edit and also the route name to ideas.edit and now if we reload we should be able to actually see this now these two buttons are too close to each other so i'll add in some uh, margin so i'll say mx2 something like this and mx basically gives us margin left and right in bootstrap so now we got some nice separation now that we have that we actually need to go and define our method in uh, in our controller so i'll copy the show method and I rename it to edit it's going to be exactly identical but we need to use a different route and for the route I'm going to use we can actually create an edit route but I believe the code is going to be exactly identical so instead of creating a new route what I'll do is I'll define a new variable and I call it editing equals true and I'll pass it down here to our view and I'll show you guys what I'm mean by that in a second so you can create a new route a new blade file if you want but i think this we can actually use it just uh, by defining a variable so let's go see how it works in practice i'll go to our uh, show and i'm gonna need to find where we are actually displaying the idea card which is here and what i'm gonna do is actually i'm gonna pass in a variable to this view file which is gonna be our editing variable now uh, Actually, we don't even need to do that. It's automatically included because we're passing it in our controller. So it makes life a bit easier for us. So I'm just going to go in our idea card. I'm going to open it up. And this is where we are displaying our content. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add an if statement and say if we are editing, I want to show a text box. If we are not editing else, then show basically a p tag, right? And if. And I'll format this a little bit so it looks nice. Now for our uh, text box, I'm going to copy it from our submit idea form. So I'll co copy the entire form. I'll paste it over here. And instead of ideas.store, I renamed this to ideas.update. We haven't defined the route yet. We'll do that in a second. I'll rename this to content. This one to content as well. And then for the error, I'll keep it as well because we want to show error. And I believe we should be good to go. Oh, also in the middle of the text box, we need to actually echo our idea content so it's idea dot content and i believe i misspelled content so that should fix it so now we have i believe we have made it possible to edit so on our view page we are actually getting an error so the reason we are getting this error is on our show page we don't have a variable called editing right now we can one way of fixing it is we you know define a variable editing false here but that's gonna be quite repetitive. So one way we can easily fix this is actually by using the question mark, question mark syntax in PHP, introduced in PHP 8. And basically what this does is if the variable before it is undefined or null, it will use a default value. And by default, editing is gonna be false, right? So this should solve our issues and you can see it works. I'm gonna move to the edit page. And here we are getting an error. The route update is not defined. So let's define that route. So we can see our page and for the update, I'll just copy the edit and I'll rename it to update, update. Now by convention, uh, usually we don't put update for our update routes. Instead, we'll use a put or a patch method for the request type. So I'll use a put request and I'll save our controller. So now we should be able to see this. We are getting an error and it's telling us the idea ID is not defined. So to fix that, 
we can say idea dot id this is exactly what we did for our delete button right so and since we are using a put request i also need to define that a lot of also laravel can spoof that so if we reload now everything should work as you can see it is uh, the spacing here is a bit off i'll fix that in a second so instead of hello world i say hello youtube and let's click share and it's giving us an error as expected so it's telling us the update method does not exist on our controller so let's go back right off the bat let's add some margin here so i say margin bottom two oops what happened say margin bottom two and i'll open up our idea controller and i'm going to copy our edit i rename it to update so we don't need editing and to update it the easy way you can do that is basically you use your idea model and you change any of the properties you want so for us we want to change the content and to get the user's uh, put request variables we can use the request method helper function that comes with laravel this is exactly what we did on our create model episode right as a matter of fact i'll copy this why not i'll copy the validation for it as well so i'll put the validation here dot get i'm gonna say con content and for default i'll leave it empty obviously it won't be empty now we have made a small change to the name so right now when we are updating it we are using the variable name content right we may actually need to do that later on in our submit idea page as a matter of fact let's do that right now because i think it's better if it's consistent on all our pages so i'll change this from idea to content and i'll change it in our controller as well content content so basically the reason i'm using content is so it matches our uh, database okay now that we have that we should be good to go i can save this and in order to save the changes we can say idea save we, we call the save method on our model and this should get the job done super easy Let's go and test it out. Oh, we need one more thing and we need to redirect the user. So instead of returning the show page, I say return, redirect, and I redirect the user to the show idea page, right? So I say route, redirect to the following route, ideas.show. Now, one thing you need to realize this route does require a parameter. So I'll pass in the idea.id. And then I also pass in a success message. I say, idea updated success fully and i don't know if i made a typo or not so i'll make this capital looks like i did make a typo i'll just copy it from here i'm too lazy to type okay i think i had one less l all right so now that that is done we should be good to go so let's go and test it out and see if it works or not so instead of hello world i say hello youtube let's click share and it worked guys as you can see we have hello youtube instead of hello world now one more thing is i'll instead of this share i'll rename this to update it's kind of annoying me a little bit so i'll say uh, where is it idea card update and i also make this button small so i say btn small so it's a bit smaller it's a bit too big right now and I believe now we are good to go, guys. We have successfully implemented an update functionality in our application. Now let's make sure everything else works. As you can see in this page, it also works. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Now, there are some other ways to actually make our code a little bit shorter. We will be covering that later on as we learn more advanced topics. But for now, this should get the job done. Actually, let's also test our validation just in case. I'll both in an empty and you can see it tells us hey content field is required so that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this episode don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and if you want to learn more about laravel have a great day bye